Vincent University winning their fourth national title in the NJCAA. One coach will have his life turned around forever. What is going on everybody and welcome to episode 3 of this Brian Davis Legacy Mode here on College Hoops 2K7. In this episode we're going to be taking on Coppin State University. So let's go ahead and jump right into this ball game. Eastern Illinois comes into this ball game at 2 and 1, Coppin State at 1 and 1 out of the MEAC Conference. Eastern Illinois is out of the OVC. Same starting five for Coach Davis as there was the last couple of games as Coppin State will lose the tip off. Burke has the ball. Drives left hand side. Passes it to Coleman. Swings it to Castro for three. No good. Rebound Shepard. And here comes Coppin State coming the other way. Coppin State to Patton. Patton shot up. No good. Rebound by Kiazzi. Over to Burke. Burke drives left, cuts back right. Looking to find the open person. Kicks it to Castro for two. In and out, no good. Rebound Coleman. Coleman to Burke. Burke. Looking again, maybe getting something set up. Castro to Burke. To Marks. Marks to Burke. Castro, or Coleman for three. Got it. EIU leads 3 0 early on against Coppin State. 4 0 3 left to go in this first half. Locklear. Guarded by Burke at the top of the key. To Patton. Patton. To Myers. To Locklear for three. In and out, no good. Rebound by Castro. And it is brought up to Coleman, who kicks it to Burke. Burke looking to find something going at the top of the key. To Clezzy. Stolen away as he tried to get it to Castro. To Locklear. Locklear lays it up and in. That was a big turnover for Coppin State. Burke now on the fast pace. Lays it up. No, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. So, 3-2 the score. EIU is up with 3.16 left to go in this first half as the first foul shot is up and in. Second shot now for Burke. Up and in. 5-2 the lead for Eastern Illinois. Eastern gets back on defense as Locklear to Gurash. Patton to Myers, who's guarded by Marks, gets inside, lays it up, no good, rebound, out to Castro, and here come the Panthers, Castro lays it up, reverse, no good, rebound Patton, and here comes the Eagles of Coppin State. To Myers, Myers shot up, rattles around, no good. Shepard puts it back up and in. And with 2.40 left to go, there's going to be a timeout on the floor as Coach Davis looks to be making some substitutions. It is. It's going to be Meade in for Castro here to start game three with 2.40 left to go as Burke takes the ball up the middle of the floor to the left hand side. To Marks. Marks to Coleman. He already has one three on the way. To Burke for three. Got it. 8 4 is now the lead for the Panthers of Eastern Illinois University. Locklear up the floor with it to Patton. Patton guarded by Coleman. To Myers, who's guarded by Marks down low in the block. Kicks out to Locklear for three. Rattles out, no good. Rebound by Marks. Marks up to Meade. Meade drives, lays it up, and in. 10 4 the score. Locklear now brings it up for Coppin State as they trail by six here in the late goings of the first half. To Myers, who almost has it stolen away. Kicks it to Gulash for three. No good. Rebound by Eastern Illinois up to Burke. Burke lays it up. No good. Locklear with the rebound. 
Minute and a half left to go in the first half as Patton drives, lays it up, and in. And now it's a four-point game for Eastern Illinois. Burke has it. Caught Coppin State nap, and he slips by, and Burke has seven. Seven points for Burke as he is going to take a breath as looks like Coach Davis is bringing back in Castro, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Castro in for Burke for the Panthers. Meade moves to point. Locklear brings the ball up. Six-point game now for Eastern Illinois. Minute five, roughly, about left to go. Garish to Maddox to Locklear. Locklear under a minute to go now. To Garish. Garish for three. Got it. Rattles it home. Up ahead to Meade as Coppin State was ready to get back. But Meade is able to split the defense, lays it up and in again. 14 to 9 to score at the first half. Garlosh drives, kicks it to Maddox. Maddox guarded by Castro. Taller freshman guarding Maddox. Pass it off to Garlish, to Maddox, to Locklear, to Garlish. For three. No good. Rattles away. And here comes Marks up the floor with it. Marks to Castro. Castro backs it out to Coleman for three. No good. Rebound Patton. And Locklear will heave it up at the half. No. And Eastern Illinois leads 14-9 to nine at the end of the first half. The Eastern Illinois Panthers 14. Coppin State Eagles 9. Coppin State will get the ball to start the second half. As they inbound it to Locklear. Starting five out on the floor for the Panthers. To Patton. Patton. Down low, tipped away. It's going to stay with Coppin State. 10 seconds into this ball game. No score. As it goes out of bounds to Eastern Illinois. Turnover on Myers. Should say no score in the second half as Burke changes that with a nice layup. He has nine. Again, able to split the defense and lay it up and in for an easy deuce. Locklear blings up the floor for the Eagles. Burke almost had it stole almost stole away. For three. Good. Is Garlish again. He has six. As Burke tries to run up the floor, he is stopped to Coleman, who gets it almost stolen, to Marks, to Burke. Castro for three, drains it. 19 to 12 is the score in favor of Eastern Illinois. Locklear brings it up the floor with under four to play in this ballgame. Locklear looking. Down low to Myers, who almost has it stolen away. To Garlish. Shot up and in, and he is single handedly keeping the Eagles in this ballgame. As Burke quickly up the floor. Stopped. And he will reset the defense by taking it top of the key. Burke. Directing traffic. Now goes to the right. To Coleman. Top of the key for three. Rattles at home. 22-14 the score for the Eagles, or for the uh, Panthers of Eastern Illinois. The Eagles of Coppin State, out of the MEAC, bring the ball up past half court on the left-hand side. Shepard, the Locklear, shot, no good, rebound by Coleman. Coleman taking it up himself, under three to play now. Coleman's going to go coast to coast and jam it home. Coleman is the power ball... Power bar triple threat player of the game with that slam dunk and it forced Coppin State to take a timeout as this lead has ballooned to 10. With 2.57 left to go in this ballgame, it's Eastern Illinois 24, Coppin State 14. As Jacobson replaces Coleman, who had a great slam dunk going into the timeout. 
inbounds the ball. The Eagles. Locklear brings the ball up the floor. Over to Patton. Patton. Down low to Myers. Myers. Working. Shot. No good. Rebound. And here comes Burke of Eastern Illinois. Now backing it out. Going right hand. Jacobson to Castro. Castro for three. No good. Rebound. Up and no good as another missed layup opportunity for Eastern Illinois. Pat. Carter by Castro. Down low to Myers. Myers. Almost loses the ball. Man, if Eastern picks up half those almost, this is a bigger lead than it than it currently is. Burke driving right hand. Kicks it out to Marks. To Castro. To Marks. To Jacobson for three. No good. And Shepard with the rebound under two to play. And here comes Patton to Locklear for three. No good and over the back foul on Gerler. So substitutions here for the Panthers as Jacobson's going to come out. Coleman is going to come back in. So you give up a little bit of size, but you get that three-point threat out up by ten. Minute 45 left to go in this ball game, and it's Eastern Illinois by ten. Make that 12 as Burke's just able to drive easily down the lane and lay it up and in off the right-hand side. Locklear bringing it up for the Eagles of Coppin State. Down by 12 now at 26-14. To Patton. Who, oh, and this one is stolen away by Coleman. And here comes Coleman. And he's going to slam it home. 28-14. And this is the State Farm Insurance drive of the game. As again, Coleman able to get the steal. And slams it home for Eastern Illinois. They have now doubled up Coppin State. 28-14 the score with 115 left to play. Shot up. No good. Rebound. And now to Burke. Burke drives. Kicks it out to Marks. To Castro for three. No good. Short. Rebound by Coleman. Coleman up. No, but he is fouled. With 59.1 seconds left to go in this ballgame, it is a 14-point lead in favor of Eastern Illinois. First shot by Coleman, rattles around around the rim and finally drops in. 29-14, Eastern Illinois. The second shot, much more clean as that goes in. 30-14. Under minute left to play, Gerlish to Locklear. Patton for three, no rebound, Eastern Illinois. To Burke. Burke drives right hand down to Coleman. Coleman. Lays it up and in. 32-14. 41 seconds left to go on the clock. Locklear up the floor. Looking to do something to improve. Patton three ball. Rattles out. Rebound. By Kelsey. Castro to Kelsey to Burke. Burke, three. No, rebound, Myers of Coffin State to Locklear. Locklear to Gerlich. Patton, three ball. No, rebound, Marks. Marks to Burke. Burke. Going to just drive. Shot up, no, and that is going to be the final. Eastern Illinois escapes Coppin State with a 32-14 to victory. Big time victory for the Panthers. Led by the way by Coleman with 14 points, 2 of 3 shooting from behind the arc. Burke with 11. Meade scores. Castro scores. And again, uh, Meade with 4, Castro with 3. And then what a performance by Kelsia. Uh, number 41 down there with 9 rebounds on the game. So. Let's go ahead and jump into our recruiting. And again, these three are going to be the biggest ones that I'm going to focus on when it comes to recruiting 
for right now until we can get uh, until I get an answer on the uh, when it comes to the, the early signing day. So just making sure that all of our targets are still you know, interested in wanting to play for us. We come off of a very impressive win. Uh, maybe not the most impressive thing because it was a less of a quality team. But at any rate, that still increases our record. Now we are just going around and around. As again, we're just making sure we contact all of our targets. Making sure that they are still around the 50% mark because... 50% mark is where you kind of want to be this early in the season. Ooh, you got to well, that's at 70%. Two-star, small forward. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. 